Hey guys, it's Beth. Today I'll be using one of these napkins from Amazon and two of these hangers from Dollar Tree to make a planter box. I removed the hangers from both of the signs, took my napkin and cut it in half and removed the extra layers. And I'll only be using four of the pieces, so one full hanger and then one piece from another. And I covered all of the fronts of those with a layer of Mod Podge and dried them completely. Once they were completely dry, I added one half of a napkin to two of the squares and ironed it on, placing down parchment paper over the napkin. And I did that to the four pieces, so one full napkin. And after I ironed all of those on, I cut them in half with a razor blade and did a layer of Mod Podge on the outer part of the napkin. And then I used my heating tool to dry that Mod Podge completely. And then I decided to, on the sides of the squares, to use Mod Podge and place down the napkin on the sides. And then after everything was dry, I sanded off any excess napkin. Next, I take these square bamboo sticks I get from Amazon and I mark it off to the length of the side of the square and use some Fisker snips to cut those. And then I sanded off the edge where I cut it and did this to get four pieces. So two full bamboo sticks. And then I take two of the little signs, held them up next to each other to see where I needed to glue down my little dowel or bamboo stick. Use Gorilla Grip glue and hot glue to put that along the edge of one of the pieces. And then on the side of that stick, do Gorilla Grip Glue again and hot glue, and then place those two sides together. And then I see where I'm gonna be placing my next side and add my bamboo stick the exact same way. And then I take my last side and just place it down to see where I need to attach them together with the sticks and glue those on, one on the inner side of one of the pieces and then one on the side of the last piece. And then I take it and flip it over to the end that'll be the bottom. I take another bamboo stick, cut it down to fit in between the two dowels that are on the inside, adding the glues and placing that down in between the two sticks that are inside the box. And then I just repeat this, doing it until all four sides have the sticks all the way around the edge. And then I take these quart size stir sticks or super jumbo craft sticks, which I get from Lowe's, and I cut them down to be the length of the inside of the box where they'll fit right on top of those dowels. And I ended up needing six of them. Just use Fisker shears to cut them down to size. Hot glued the ends of them and glued them right to the sticks on the inside.
And that is it for this project. Thank you guys so much for watching.